Good morning, it's Kate, Australia's home of hip-hop and R&B. And uh, Yaz, we have to open up the gates. We have to. We have to allow this to happen because the incredible Jax Jones is here. Hi, Jack in the station right now. Hi, Jack in the show with Keenan Yaz. Good morning, Jack. Good How you doing, bro? Good morning. Good morning, my family, man. I'm happy to be here, part of the Kata squad this morning. Yeah, that's we it. We appreciate that's you it. joining us, bro. Hey, listen, man, I'm looking at you right now here on Zoom. Obviously, you got the hat, which is incredible. Um, I mean, it's it's massive stuff. Obviously, uh, we just found out that the hat is from that incre- that designer who did uh, Rihanna's hat what, as well. What was his name again? Yeah, Benny Santiago. Benny Santiago. Benny Santiago. You know, the big uh, brown hat. Yeah, that's right. The big, the big brown, brown hat. hat. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and this one that you got on right now is like a is is the original, the first design that Benny ever done, right? This is the first hat he ever made. He never sold it. He will never sell it. I begged him and begged him to sell it to me. He will not sell it. So, but, so but you have it. But you have it right now. I borrowed it for a shoot, and um, I thought never gave it I'm back. Gonna send it back soon, so <laughs> I'm gonna just wear it as much as I can. I but I didn't wear it at like a festival or a club because I don't want to send it back wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Like so do you, think that, do you think like if he saw this this particular interview with you wearing the hat, he's gonna come hunting you down for it or? Nah, he knows I've got it. Like okay, he'll just okay, be like, okay, bro, send me it back, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if he sees you, if he sees you wearing it in Ibiza, at Pasha, then that's a oh, that would be a problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, a problem. yeah, that's a problem. That's but like hey, when you, you when you lend someone something and you you say, dude, where was that thing? And you just see yeah, it yeah. in all their Instagram pictures. <laughs> that's, that's, kind of, that's happened quite a few times with Yaz and I. I mean, oh, he's lent so me some much. clothes, and I think I still have it in the boot of my car. You still got three shirts of mine. Yeah, I do. I do. Oh no, man. Yeah, but look, it ain't a friendship if you aren't doing that. Come on. Exactly right. That's what the finds good friends right i'm also Ooh. noticing while you're on zoom here you're in your house beautiful house yeah. by the way Thank you. i can Thank see you. at the top right corner of your screen which i think will be the top left corner there's a guy gar- is that a gargoyle up there that, that, that ah, it's thing? a monkey oh it's a monkey <laughs> oh geez okay cool that would be kind of where you got, where you got monkey dope. statues yeah that's right where you got monkey statues hanging up in your in your in your house what's the go with that oh man it's just a, a fun prop like my wife is a, a light in architect so she does like you know mood like she creates lights for hotels and stuff so we've got yeah. some funky pieces in the house <laughs> yeah nice That's i like cool. it i like it i like it bro um when you come down to australia again um because obviously he, you're known as a hat guy down here um yeah. we, we we're gonna hook you up with um a cork hat have you ever seen an australian cork hat the one that gets rid of the flies what? No, that sounds sick. What is that? Oh. I'll show you a photo you of it right photo? now. I've got a photo here. It's, it looks like this. So if you can see that on the camera, it's just like oh, a bucket hat, dope. but with corkscrews hanging off the side of it. Um, Does that get rid that, of flies, the corks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that scientifically like, proven? Yeah, a hundred percent done by the you know the the farmers in the in the uh, you know in the outback. You know they designed this. They spent years working on how to get rid of these flies, and uh, yeah, we came up with the uh, the corkscrew hat. Bit, so, of, bit of string, bit of cork, and you're good to go. That's right. I need that, that, man. It's, yeah, it's actually somewhere over here. I need that in my life, man. Send it over, DHL, man. Yeah, DHL. It's not a bad idea. Thing. Let's get it done. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Hey, um, I saw here. I'm just. I was looking through some of your stuff, some of your facts. Your residency in Ibiza. Um, that's yeah. every week. You're traveling back and forth between London and Ibiza just to, you know, obviously be there, show up, and perform, and, and make those people happy. Um, is that something that you've always wanted to do as a DJ? Because that seems like that. Yeah, it's like it's a it's a DJ's dream, EDM DJ's course. dream to perform in Ibiza. Yeah, that's like that's yeah, like Ibiza. A special place man like it's got a lot of history and it's still growing and people are still discovering and everyone can find their own pocket of ibiza and i, I think yeah. i found mine at pasha i do love i love the club it, it, it embodies the ip for spirit and yeah. the crowds there are amazing um and there's something about it when people step off that plane they're just ready to go you know it's a different world it's a different world there you and guys need you- to come man yeah, of course, of course. Wait, maybe we'll come with the cork, the cork hat. Yes, we'll go over there with the yeah, cork yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you fit right, right in. in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. What's what's the what's the proper attire for when you want to go party in Ibiza? What do you have to wear? I mean, in Pasha, it's like a sexy vibe, so no shorts and stuff. Like it's it's like nice tr- like uh, trousers, and and then yeah, you can kind of chill, like you know. But it, it, they try to be classy. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So okay. tra- trousers, button up, and maybe a big ass hat twice the size of your yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah basically. Yeah, basically. Santiago hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, and I'm just, I want to take things back for you. I want to take you back to the time. And, and this is obviously something I read up as well. When you used to do open mic, uh, we used to go to open mic clubs way back in the day. Way What's back? that? Like, uh, open mic. Then rock up, <laughs> they have an open mic, and you can just jump on and say anything, say whatever do you anything, want, like, rap. Sing. Yeah, yeah. What were you doing at these open mics? Were you rapping or singing or something? I've or done all sorts, man. When I was fifteen, I used to rap. So like, oh. uh, um, I, I was just heavily influenced by Nas. Uh, yeah. 
And then Ill Matic just was my album. I was yeah. writing all kinds of stuff, telling stories. And there was a, a club, uh, uh, like an open mic night that used to run just off Carnaby Street in west in the west end over here and i went there to spit and i battled everyone outside like it was a vibe but i'd never i didn't like my voice like it was too my voice was squeaky i was a bit like i didn't feel like i had weight on the track because ultimately you can write the best bars but it's about your voice do you know what i mean yeah, that so, presence like that stormsy that stormsy thick presence yeah right? it's just a present that's the that's the bit you're born with do you know what i mean so yeah. i um turned to production because i was playing classical guitar and I was still playing on that circuit, you know, for up and coming artists. I'd play guitar for them. And that was how I was earning my bread, man. Like mm. little pocket money here and there, 30 pounds, yeah. little travel money, maybe some dinner. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm yeah. the beginning, man. And, 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 and uh, I, I just have to do this, Yaz. I yeah. do have to ask, do you remember any of your bars? Oh, <laughs> no. I literally oh, don't. None. I remember the book. It was like a, a a blue gloss book, and I drew. I used to collect the source in XXL, and I remember oh, I, yeah. I used to copy pictures and like and like I was just obsessed with it at the time, man. Like it was yeah. a vibe, like. But my so, 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 so. can't, man. I, I stopped writing like when I was like sixteen. <sighs> I would have loved write songs of it. Yeah, that would have been yeah. sick, man. Yeah, I have yeah, to dig yeah, it yeah. up. It's in storage. Dig it up, dig it up, and DM us, and we'll 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 read it. These are the bars of Jax Jones. I was such a Nas years. toy, like it yeah, was, that's yeah, so yeah. good though. Yeah. So growing up, growing up, you're a hip hop fan essentially. Yeah, man. Like my my stepdad was Nigerian, right? So he and mm. he was a big music collector. So he used to collect, you know, a lot of seven inch, twelve uh, um, twelve inch vinyls, everything from dancehall to R and B, rap. Like yeah. the first when he come to live with us, the way he broke the ice was with like. A, a, a crisscross album that, that oh, was wow. album I ever owned like jump jump wow. I don't remember that I don't remember that yeah like, that's yeah, it of course. of course jump it's a classic jump. hey but that's a, that's crazy like, for him to break the ice with music that's a perfect way because obviously having someone like you know a step a step father or someone coming in to a family that's there it would have been pretty yeah. difficult to try and adjust to that and this guy knows the tricks of the trade <laughs> man. he's coming in with music international language international language cool, right man. Yeah, right. like, it, it, so I was essentially raised on, you know, black music growing up and it was kind of a big part of, yeah, a big part of my culture. Even the churches were attending, I was attending true, like kind of Pentecostal churches playing guitar yeah. and stuff. So that's why even in my house music, you can hear those R&B tread lines, you know, and the uh, kind of yeah, yeah. Like, just urban influence on what I do. Cause it's just, it's just in me, you know? That's right. And that's that's why he's got six billion streams, yes. I mean, <laughs> it's like, wild, man. It's... When I saw those numbers, like we we know you're big, we know you're massive, but six billion, that's like nothing to sneeze at. That oh, definitely. You, man. No, music How has been they... good to me, man. I appreciate that. I, I see the comments on this new track that you've got. Um, where did you go with M and E K? Obviously there's a remix with A one, um A one and uh is it A one and J one, yeah. A one and J one. Um, and people are just r ripping into the, the comments, you know, they're obsessed. They feel like it's summer, even though it's winter. Yeah. All this thing. <laughs> how, how do you make music that people are obsessed with? Like, what, what's the secret? Oh, man. I guess, like, I just, my taste, I always like catchy stuff. Like, you know, I was always the, I listen, I listen to the albums, always kind of gravitated towards the singles and I always love pop music as well as my like hip-hop and r&b and all the kind of cultural stuff i was listening to so like again i like because the, as a dj you're not singing so my job for me is just to make it as catchy as possible when i write the songs mm -hmm. in the music uh and this particular song i wrote it during lockdown over here and i just had my first daughter and we were kind of listening to music just to make thank yeah. you i appreciate that we were listening to music just to make you feel good. Like, I, and you know, when you're thinking about having kids, like you're thinking about what music shall I share with them? You know, <laughs> and I, 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 I'm like proudly quite self-indulgent, you know, like it's yeah. like, oh, should I show her something deep? You know, is there some slum village I'm gonna show? No, I was, I was like showing her like Hadaway. <laughs> and like Akon and that. <laughs> like, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I want to make a yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and she likes it because obviously it's phonetic, like nah, nah, yeah. nah, nah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. so the this where did you go was influenced by that those two era of music, like Euro House from yeah. the nineties, like a what yeah. is love, baby yeah. don't hurt yeah. me, and then yeah. you know the Euro House R and B explosion in the two thousands. I was just 
on that wave when that's, I wrote this song. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's well, you're doing something right because we're playing like obviously we're a hip hop and R&B station, but we've got yourself and maybe one other pop EDM artist that's yeah. playing on rotation. So like we're loving it down here in Australia. 100 percent, 100 percent. I mean, and working with MNEK, I know he's done some stuff with Joel Corey, which is a great guy. I know you probably know Joel yeah. as well. Um, MNEK, what was it about him that you needed to get on this track? I mean, he's he's obviously very special in what he does and how he hits the song. What was it about him? He, well, first of all, we've had a long history of working together. You know, we did one of my first club records together. We're from both same part of London, you know, mm. so there's always been a, a, a kinship there. And when I had this song, it's just so high. The, where am I my love? It's just, yeah, it's just good. very high. So yeah. there are very few people great. I knew that could sing it. And yeah. uh, m &E is just that guy. Like, I'm just very lucky to know him, very lucky that he, he wanted to do it. And um, yes. he sounds amazing. And he embodies, for me, the spirit of a house vocalist. You yes. know, he's LGBTQ, he's, he, he's, he's flamboyant, but also soulful. It's like, it's, it's great. You it's the saying? perfect package and the way you do us marry yeah. up on this song is just it, like i said people are obsessed with this, yeah, for this sure. track so we're loving it are you going to come to australia soon what's the go with that oh man i need to come man i need we're to we're, we're back open again man and we're, we're waiting for you to come bless our shores oh, he's, i know you got ibiza and stuff but you can you can always like you know just take, take a week off take or a something. weekend off and come I think down. you usually come in like the, the december time right when your festival season and all that is running yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we'll hold it we'll hold that to you then we need to do that man yeah hold yeah, it yeah. my agent let's go yeah all right, i'll we'll come back and get the court screw hat as well yes exactly right get the court screw hat we'll get you some thongs we'll get you aussie up we'll get you really now here's the thing yesterday yeah i'm not doing a shoey though lads no no no, no 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 we're against we're, we're against shoeys here. we are fully against shoeys why is what, what is it about it that you don't like because i know it's overdone it's overdone it's just impractical like that's why right. get a cup what are you drinking yeah, out of your shoes out of bottle. like you know what I'm i just right. don't think it's sexy man yeah no, it's, not. <laughs> it's, it's not. not um but we were talking yesterday yes or oh, the other day sorry about um crocs you know crocs the the croc shoes yeah yeah of course crocs, thongs which are like uh, flip-flops yeah world oh, world yeah um slides mm -hmm. or yeah. barefoot um Ooh. what would you prefer out of those four options when you're walking around oh right now i just love uh crocs i can't lie oh, to yeah. you crocs as i told crocs. you bro yeah. i told you crocs are in I've right now dope crocs. i don't know where they are right now but you got some got boat crowds crocs. On them and stuff yeah no like just oh, dope so crocs like yeah oh, but, like you can wear them any terrain they're different yeah. soles and stuff and there's something yeah. because they're just a bit they're a clog yeah there's yeah, something literally. about them you could even dress them smart somehow yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah. Since, since we're on that topic i want to ask Jax as well because we had this argument on air yesterday i wear slides with socks i will never yeah. wear slides without socks is that fair do you if you were to wear slides are you wearing socks with them i mean your feet get sweaty when you wear slides, right? So you should wear socks. Exactly. It's hygienic. In your house, you don't need to wear socks with the slides. I no, think man, it looks better it with slides. So if you've got nice toes. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what are your toes you, like, Jack? So you got nice toes? Oh, it's not lit. My toes aren't my proudest <laughs> not moment. Not it's not like I've got web feet or anything like that. Shout out to the web yeah. feet crew. Like I got yeah, a they're relative fast that's web foot. Fast yeah, yeah, they're awesome. It's either, you yeah. know what I'm saying. We had, but... we had we had someone call the show up. He had four toes on on one foot and six toes on the other foot. So I don't think he'd be wearing slides. No, no socks. He wouldn't be yeah. wearing slides. He'd be wearing socks. It just you know what? It just makes it look clean, like especially if you yeah, get the perfect finish. length of sock. Yeah. You know you've, you've, and you've, now there's you've... so many great socks out there, like from big yeah. designers and that. It's like socks are not a statement. Like why not? Yeah, that's right. I, I just yeah. want to take one step back here. You've piqued my interest with your toes. You said they're not lit. Can you please give us a quick a quick gaze at the toadies? <laughs> Nah, Come nah, on. nah, I can't be okay. doing that. I can't be doing okay. that. Come on, G. All right. Yeah, no, so you want to I've, show got the fam no, I've got no, a no, famous, no. Uh, uh, if I'm half Chinese, right? And if yep. there's a thing that uh, Chinese people have, it's, I don't know how, I think it's fairly common. They have a split toenail. So I've got my, my little baby toe, and I just got this little bit that kind of this toenail just is always, oh, really? always Wait, hanging what? out. Like, Have you ever thought of cutting it off or it just grows? I cut it and then it splits again. I it's really just always splitting. I never knew that was so. That's a that's from it's that's like from a the split it's like Google split toenail I'm Chinese. It right now. It's a Googling thing. It. Split toenail Chinese. I'm Googling it right now. Oh wow, the educator. See, this is this is the this is the guy we're dealing with here, Australia. Not only is he one of the best DJs on the planet, residency in Ibiza, over six billion streams. He gives us cultural <laughs> facts that we need to know. These Chinese split toes. Search it up. Oh, it's a full. There's according to. Uh, 
you're according to Taiwanese or average, I was to say you're a Han Chinese if you have a split toenail. Han Chinese of the Bro, split it's toenail like, trait. It's, it's literally your toenail is split on like the right side of it and it hangs yeah, up by it's just like a little toenail. bit. Yeah. That's wow. wild. If if you're if you're half Chinese or Han Chinese, sorry, uh 131096, I want to know if you have a split toenail. Yeah, give us a um, call. Give us a call. Let's talk about it. How's how's your life been about it? Um, have you thought of removing it? Have you thought of painting it? Have you thought of, you know, anything that you've done with this toenail we want to know about, Jax? I mean, uh, I mean, you, you're not the only person in the world that has this, I right? need to start a support group. Like, sometimes, like, it'd be catching on my socks and stuff. Like, it's, <laughs> oh, no, that's it's gross. increasingly inconvenient, man. Oh, I have to man. answer all the questions. <laughs> when, when I first get naked and that, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Jay, Jay, what, is, what does the missus think of the split toenail? Did, she, did, did your kid end up getting a split toenail as well, or...? Oh, she hasn't got it yet, man. I okay. don't know when mine like developed, but she's yeah, uh, yeah she hasn't got it okay. yet. <laughs> okay, wow. not yet, not yet. All right, cool. But hey, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. And there's fact, nothing wrong. It's character, man. Like it is. This is it. Yeah. Wait, there's so many, so many uh, things, so many surrounding important, great things about Jax Jones. Not only look at that smile, <laughs> by the way. Have you been told you're cute? I mean, our producer oh, yeah. goes, "Oh my gosh, he's super cute," and I was that's, like, "That's the first thing she said on, to man. us when when she you know we're, we're about to start the producer, producer, man. Like, he's really cute, and we're like, I haven't yeah, seen her, but I'm sure her. she's cute too. Her name's Helena, right? That's yeah, right, that's Helena, right. DJ she's Helena. She's one of the. Count. That's right. She's one of the biggest DJs here in Australia, as yeah. well as Yaz. So, man, we're, we're, we're coming here with, you know, nothing but, you know, experience and stuff as well. So, mate, it's absolute pleasure to chat with you. This track, Where Did You Go? Uh, Jax Joan teaming up with MNEK for this new single. Obviously, there's a remix out as well. A1 and J1 are on this track. Man, absolutely massive. Huge. Is there any last thing you need to tell to your Australian family? Just big up everyone in Australia. Thank you for supporting the single and all my music so far. And I can't wait to see you soon. It's going to be lit. I love it. Thank Ooh. you so much for coming on the show, bro. Jax Jones here, an absolute legend on Kato, Australia's home of hip-hop and R&B.